Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to create sections in Canvas so that when you want to um, create an assignment or a quiz, you can assign it to your certain class periods if you have cross-listed your courses. Um, and so that speed grader will um, move the grades into each section or a class period so you don't have one long list of kids um, to look through to um, have grades done. So the first thing you want to do is in your Canvas homepage is go down to settings um, and you want to rename, click on the section button, um, rename your sections um, by your class periods um, because when they first come up um, it's a long list of numbers and that was really confusing for me so I needed to know which ones were my two advanced sections so that um, when I assign assignments that I can differentiate and assign it to them and then my two academic sections. So to do that, you just simply clicked on them um, and renamed them. Once you have your sections done, um, let's go into one of my assignments. So I'm going to give a homework assignment on Monday, um, and this is going to be for all of my um, science kids. Um, and it's a Word document. So I have already created it. If you didn't create an assignment yet, you have to hit the little plus sign. Um, and this assignment is going to be a Word document. Um, so you would create your assignment and upload it using the file button and then click and drag it over. Um, when my kids go on to this assignment, I would suggest the first thing they do um, when they click on the assignment is save it to their Office 365 account so that it's automatically saving. So I have this as a Word document that they're going to um, save to their 365, work on it, and then when they want to submit it, they're going to upload it back to me. So because this is a Word document, you can assign whatever points you want. Um, it's under the Assignment tab. For submission type, this is online, and it's going to be a file upload because they're going to take that Word document, type right on it, and then upload it back to me. Um, you scroll all the way down under when it says assign to this is where you're going to click on your section groups that you just named so period two is going to get it um, you can be more specific like when is it available to um, so you can click on everybody but then when you go to speed grader the problem with leaving everybody here is everybody is in one big large clump so I'm going to end up with 113 students to look through that's not fun. So I'm going to assign it by periods. Um, there's a little plus sign. You put another period on it. All right. And you go through the whole add all your class sections or periods. You click save when you're done. OK. Um, and then you can either add your assignment into your modules or your calendar. When you go to look at your assignment, you click on the assignment, the specific one. Click on speed grader. And then it's going to show nobody did this homework because it's over the weekend and I didn't sign it yet. But um, the key is over here, when you click on that arrow and then go to sections, oops, and Canvas said they were having a little bit of problems with this today, you should be able to click here and then click on period seven. And then this is going to sort right here by my period seven kids. So that I can tab through just period seven and not all of my kids. So you can see here there's 27 kids in here and not the 113. Um, and that'll make it easier to grade once they put it in. I bet it helps.